Well, hey there, I didn't see you come in. That's right, it's me, Greg Miller, doing another Let's Play for SimCity. I'm at Game Over Greggy on all your favorite social networks. If you're just joining us, or if I didn't explain it well enough because I didn't know what the hell I was doing, I'm going to play SimCity for 10 minutes every day. You can see how my city and uh, region here, Washington, Tacoma, progress. Right now, we're in Gallegosville, named after Anthony Gallegos, of course. And people are starting to demand sewage. They're starting to demand hospitals. They're getting sick. Of course, though, we're a small town, so we have to do all sorts of stuff. So let's, so let's take care of the hospital, for, or the clinic, I should say, first. Um, interestingly enough, I would never want to live next to a clinic, right? $20,000 is what we need, so we'll have it in a second. But it raises property values like you would not believe, like having health care right there. I wouldn't want the ambulance. I wouldn't want all that stuff swinging by me, but these people do. So if you notice, my budget there, I'm at $19,000, a little bit of change. I'm waiting for that next 2000 There it is, 2000 to kick in. Bam, I dropped the clinic. People are going to be happy about it. You close that. Let's see what land value did there. Maybe in... See, all right. See how it's going up a bit because of the radius there. It's going up a bit because of the radius here. This stuff not worth anything. I was going to say a curse word, but I'm going to try not to because I know Pear watches these sometimes. And then he gets mad at me or curse. <laughs> so, uh, the big part of SimCity in the beginning, right? Packing people in. You need residents to make money. That's why I never worry about the budget because I know I can always zone more stuff. But to do that, you need to have roads you need to have zones so I want to keep going residential here uh, people still want residential of course yeah I see you brother get out of my face see you in another life brother alright so people want sewage taken care of they don't like their toilets overflowing as, as, a, as a man who likes to eat I understand that so I'm gonna come over here let me escape out of this I'm zoomed in really tight. I don't play this tight. Oh, people are leaving over there. Uh, again, if you notice what I talked about, or, but when I first put down the power plant, is I checked wind, right? I want to make sure that all of my smelly stuff, all this horrible stuff, is over here, getting away from it. Now you see all the sewage, all the poop and stuff flowing over there to the sewage outflow pipe. Great. It's going to totally, though, destroy the land over here. It's going to make it really gnarly, and people won't want to... Uh, uh, don't put water there, basically, is what I'm saying. I, I made the mistake in an earlier city where I put water there. None too pleased. That was what happened with these people. They were none too pleased. Uh, I've given up my dream of... Well, I shouldn't. See, this is my thing. As I get going, I start putting down way too much road as far as expenses. Uh, but anyways, I learned my lesson. I don't put down water plants there. I'm going to leave this a giant area, though. So, uh... Like I said, they'll move back in. Don't worry. you got to break some eggs here. Make the omelet, break the eggs. Andrew Goldfarb knows what I'm talking about. Drag this over there. Got to find the right angle. See, now it's not... Oh, I don't have enough money in general. Ha! Lol. I, I'm so used to being awesome and being way farther in the game. JK. JK. Everybody calm down. Leave your hate comments in the comments below. Uh, like I said, though... What's this guy bitching about? What are you, what are you bitching about? Don't you? Unemplo oh, it's one... Uh, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do here, ladies and gentlemen... Every day, 12.30 Pacific Standard Time, I'll post a new 10-minute chunk. Let you know what's happening in Gaiusville slash Washington Tacoma Robot. See how my city develops. You can see it. As long as you keep watching. As soon as you stop watching, we're done. It's over. Don't worry. Don't sweat it. If you don't enjoy the videos, let me know. Like I said, tweet at AM over Greggy. Tweet at IGN. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see the city start doing. Obviously, I do film a lot of these in advance, so if it doesn't, if, you know, what you want doesn't happen right away. It's not me being a jerk. It's just me doing my thing. Got to live, bro. Got to live. Now, I'm excited to get the city going. I want to get this thing turned into a town hall. I'll show you how to do that in a second. It's going to be about upgrades. Oh, do I, should I be curving these roads, you think, ladies and gentlemen? I'm kind of over the curved roads. Like I said, I don't like them. But they do look pretty when they work. All right, I'm going to go against my better judgment and curve the road. This is going to bite me in the butt when I try to do uh, city hall later, I bet. But whatever. And I spent a lot of money again. Dang. I was just, dang, I wasn't paying attention. All right, so there you go. You got to start. See, this is my problem with the curved roads. They're very pretty. But ladies and gentlemen, Greg Miller likes to get millions of people living in the city. He doesn't want to sit here and have these weird roads that are like, oh, man, like, I'm not packing them in. I've, I've said this before, right? Like, I need it to be, I want to. I want everybody in there nice and tight. I want to make sure that. Everyone is coming to the city. I'm maximizing my space. I'm, you know, getting as many people packed in as I can. But I need to think of the region. Greg, don't be selfish. Don't just think of your own, this, own, this one city, Gaios. Actually, it's looking kind of neat, huh? All right. So, anyways, I was talking about what we're t leveling up right here. You see right here, basically, everything in 
SimCity this time around. If you're playing non-sandbox mode, which is what we're doing. I'll explain sandbox mode, I'm sure, in another comment there. Uh, levels up. So right there you see the progress through. I have all these little goals. When that gets reached, that my town hall becomes a city hall, and then the game really becomes uh, a foot. I don't know what I'm saying. This is why I don't, this is why I don't let's play that often. There we go. Drop more. But you see what I'm talking about, packing people in, right? Like, I need more people. If I want to hit that goal, if I want to get going, I need more people. Industrial over here is already bitching, too, that they don't have enough people. They're like, oh, my gosh, need more workers. So we got to drop in some uh, more workers for them. Like I said, totally over. Again, sewage treatment plant. I'm going to eventually have another water treatment plant there, so I'm trying to give them a wide enough base. But again, maybe I'm doing it stupid. I don't know. There's there's a method to both, or there's a madness to both, right? Like, well, if I wait now, I won't have to do it later, but then right now, why am I... I should probably just be worried about right now. There's no, there's no real need to be all, well, this needs to happen and that needs to happen, and hopefully in 50 years when this happens. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know. You feel me, dog. People really want more industrial. That's good. Um, I You know what? I, ne I never checked, too. Let's see what we got going on here as far as natural resources. So I'm eating a lot of coal over there. Got no ore. Got no oil. All right, so nothing. There's no there's no resources here, basically. Uh, ba I could drill. I could specialize. I'm sure in our other towns we're going to have to to keep things going. And speaking of which, too, I'm going to have to tell the power plant to import coal soon enough, I'm sure, because it ain't got none here. Yeah, it's already freaking out. So looks like global delivery is coal. Great. Close. Oh, look at that. That's getting nice. See, now, if you notice, like that's awesome looking, right? And it's because it's nice and packed in. That's why I think I hate this part of the, my residential area when I first start. These giant open areas where nothing's happening, and it's like, all oh, right. But guess what, everybody? I finally have money, so it's time to change that around. I keep dropping high density streets. Like I said, this is going to be our flagship city. This is going to be our metropolis, if you will. Uh, the other ones will. Oh, I hate curved roads. Get out of my face, curved roads. The other ones will do. We'll make them a bit more specialized, probably. It's kind of a nightmare, I'm sure, for traffic, but I don't care because it's not a real city. See, this is, again, though, I shouldn't have done the curved roads. I'm sure I look like a noob to you guys, but I wanted to try something different. I wanted to give you guys something cool to see. And gals. I know, I know that it's not just guys, but I call everybody guys. I call everybody kids, too. So when I say, hey, kids, help me out, don't freak out. I keep dropping roads here. Like I said, the whole deal, right? Pack it in tight. We need as many people as we can get in this city. Now, I've done this poorly because now no one's going to move in there. I'm going to have to eventually bulldoze this whole town. But all we're looking for right here is a nice little burg. In Gaiosville to get people in, get them living. I know, I'm trying to get you more residents. Hold on, bro. Um, we're going to do... We're going to pause. We're going to spend all $20,000 here and do a pretty huge project. I'm going to curve the road again to try to match this dumb curve road I did the first time around. Oh, sorry. I'm going to start really getting people out here in the city. Curved road. Damn it. Sorry. Oh, man, I, and, and yes, if you remember in the beginning, in the first one where I was like, oh, man, this might be a mistake putting down this uh, High Density Avenue. Sure was. I have not supported it in any way, nor do I plan to, so good job, Greg. Good job. Doing like that, right? I'm trying to, if You see, what I'm trying to do is match the little bit of the footprint we have from the other one down there. Good enough. Yeah, give me that. Sorry. Kurt. I want straight roads now. I want to just keep straight with High Density. Buses will get people where they want to go, right? Right. See, I'm not even putting up guides for the way I'm doing my city because I'm doing it so stupid. Stupid, Greg. How much money I got? 3,000? I'm not going to do much then. Start connecting this stuff. Well, you know, you can learn from my mistakes, right, ladies and gentlemen, on how not to build your city. <laughs> oh, my God. But you'll see. In the end, it's going to work out all right for me. I just shouldn't have curved the roads. Like, I knew in my head... Got cocky. Tried to show you guys something cool. Now I have this. What? I mean, look at this monstrosity. Got elbows in here. The road, It's getting smaller. Let's see how they pack things in there in a second. Uh, if you look around, they're doing pretty well. We're doing all right with the coal. How's the sewage plant doing? Sewage plant's doing all right. Hospital. How are we doing? 
or clinic. I'm sorry, not a hospital. Very important. You'll see why in a little in probably a while. Ah, clinics actually could use some stuff. But what I need to start saving for, because I know what's coming, is I need to start saving for fire trucks and I need to start saving for police stations. That again will also increase the property of my land, which will help me out. But it also obviously these people right now, if you notice, there's no schools, so they're all very uneducated. One of the you know that's why. No offense to people who live in these kind of trailer homes. This is what it's kind of reminiscent of, right? It's uh, blue-collar, working-class people right now. They're all here to go work over here at my plants or whatever that are just producing this pollution and ruining the environment. So what I need to do is make sure that, first off, since I can't educate them yet, if I was to come over here and click on the books, right, I got nothing. I can put down the grade school. That's it. And I, I, it Again, that will raise property value. But when I want to get to a high school, which, as you see right there, uh, right there, blah, 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 causes less fires. I need all these things. I need to get the city hall going, and then I need to get a department of education down. They will be the first things I put down once I get the city hall up and running. Department of education, that is. But right now, I need to save up for a fire department. See, I told you. They're already calling for it. Fire station, $20,000. So we need a little bit more. But we can see the, the city starting to fill in. People starting to get over. I'm going to drop a fire station over here. Like I said, it's going to raise property values. So... I'm gonna drop it right about here. And the, this is, I should point out, a fire station over here is the fire precinct or large fire station. I'm thinking of police stations. Uh, when you get, you know, right there, you see it yourself. You, when you upgrade the city hall, when you put a department of safety, and you get more. And these things have wider b bases. They can help out the region. Which, if this is gonna be our flagship, we need to do. Because what I'm doing, ladies and gentlemen, if there's a method to my madness. Oh, there's a fire, like I was talking about. Is that I'm building this one awesome region that'll have awesome tr garbage and awesome fire and awesome police so that all the other cities won't need to do that or not all of them but a lot of ones in the beginning won't need to do it so that they can live on do their own thing bam fire stations down Let's see if that did the land values any good no i don't want to get out here yeah see you see again it's coming up a bit not great still in this like you know mid-range it's not fantastic yet but it'll it'll be something special here in a bit but to see if my madness works out, ladies and gentlemen, you have to turn into the next Greg Miller Plays SimCity IGN Let's Play. Like I said, I post them every day at 12.30 Pacific Standard Time. I will continue to post them on IGN.com, on IGN YouTube, everywhere you can get an IGN video, uh, as long as you keep watching them. So please tweet at IGN, tweet at Game Over Greggy. Let me know if you like them. I'm going to pause it right there so we can pick up next time. And, you know, what you want to see happen where you want it to be. Uh, until then, share it with your friends so they can see how cool SimCity is, how bad I am at drawing circular roads, curved roads, and you know, keep on beyond it.